Dr. Tessie Thomas, also known as the Missile Woman of India, is a distinguished scientist and Director General Aeronautical Systems of DRDO. In an exclusive conversation with PBNS, Dr. Tessie speaks about the innovation growth of India and the increasing representation of women in the scientific field. As the Missile Woman of India, Dr. Tessie drew her inspiration from Dr. Kalam, the Missile Man of India, who said, Missiles are not weapons of destruction, they are the weapons of peace. As a country, we need to have uh, capable systems so that nobody touches us. That is why we say the missiles or these long-range systems are our capability of uh, uh, weapon of peace. She is the first woman to design the guidance scheme for long-range missile systems, which is used in all Agni missiles. Dr. Thomas has worked for more than three decades at DRDO. She began her career as a young subsystem designer at the agency's Hyderabad laboratory and rose through the ranks to become the mission director. While indigenously developing, testing and inducting the Agni series of missile into the defense systems. Now she has an even larger role to execute as director general of aeronautical systems DRDO. Dr. Tessie says that given India's rapid development in the scientific innovation and growth, the country soon might become a global exporter of products in this field. We were doing the development of system first of its kind, technology is new, even starting from raw materials it's not available, technology denial uh, regime. So altogether working for, uh, um, it's, it's a continuous effort of uh, team working together to achieve the scientific capability, first of its kind, first of the world capabilities has been achieved. Together we have done. The idea is a wonderful place to work on uh, this type of systems. On that note, where do we see India going in the technological advancement? Today we are at the peak and we soon will be the global hub for that. How do you see scientific advancement happening in India in today's date? No, because of the today, uh, all, our Prime Minister's effort in bringing in uh, the Albanarbar Bharat, it's a very important uh, thing as far as technology self-reliance is concerned. And the government is totally give, taking up all the initiatives to make the systems done, indigenous uh, development of systems. So we are going to see in another uh, coming 10 to 20 years, you will find the difference in uh, system. Today, we are importing systems, but within this 10 to 20 years, we will turn out to be a global uh, exporter of uh, products. Thomas is also an inspiration for numerous girls in India. When she joined DRDO in 1988, there were just three or four women working in the entire organization. Today, there is more representation with a wider scope. Dr. Tessie says science has no gender. When I joined, it was hardly 3% women probably. And today we have grown to 15 to 18% women working in this field. And DRDO is an organization which is giving a lot of uh, encouragement to the women. Uh, not only me as project director or the director general of aeronautical systems, most of the women who have worked along with me, they are either technology leaders, group leaders, directors and director general. So this is an opportunity DRDO gives and I always say science has no gender. It's what you learn, what you acquire knowledge and gain experience that matters in this field and more and more women should take up this uh, uh, engineering and uh, SNDS uh, for the, the uh, in their career. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned with PBNS for more stories on women empowerment.